All right, so today we're going to talk about the letter E, and I need you to really pay attention to this letter because it's actually very important. Okay, so the letter E is a vowel, right? Which means in English it's really weird. So the first sound that E can make in English is the E sound. So we have the sound like uh, me, see, b, b, meet, meet, feet and beat. So notice when I'm saying E, I'm really showing all my teeth here. So I'm saying E, me, C, B, B, meet, meet, feet, beat. And the second sound that E can make is the E eh sound. So in mat, bet, set, send, rend, blend. And then finally, uh, we have the silent E, which means the E doesn't make a sound at all, like in take or make. So for this case, the, the rule generally is um, if there is a vowel, such as in the word mine or take, that comes before the consonant and then followed by the E, the E is not pronounced. All right, now for the fun part, which is all these uh, different letter combinations that we have with the letter E. So our first double letter combination is E and A. And so with this one, you actually need to be careful because we have two different sounds. First, we have the eh uh, sound, so like in, so in ear and uh, tear, and then we've got a, and like in bear and tear. And I'm sorry that tear and tear are spelled exactly the same, but they mean they mean two different things. So just pay attention to that. And next we have ee -E or the double e. Uh, this always makes the e sound. So we've got meet, feet, see. So that is the first sound that we discussed. E-N-D, so this one is always gonna make the second sound that we per, that we talked about, which is eh, so end, send, bend, friend, blend. E-R, okay, so this one is in particularly important in American English because we really emphasize the er sound, it's er. In a lot of other languages, or not languages, but accents, um, the ER sound is a little bit less heavy, but in American English, it is very heavy. We say water, flower, letter, remember. And for example, in British English, they'd say something like water, a flower, a rem letter, a remember. You don't really pronounce the R in those ones, but in, English, in American English, you really have to pronounce the R here. And the same thing applies when we add an S to the end, so like uh, prefers. So ET, uh, we've already seen quite a few of these, like set, met, and bet. So every time you see ET um, at the end of the word, it's gonna make the et sound. So that's the second sound with the letter E that we've discussed in the beginning, it makes the a eh sound. So it's et, set, met, bet. And then lastly, we have EX, and this one is pronounced the same way it is in Spanish or any other Latin language, which it's X, so extra, external, 